There is one critical mistake that most marketers are making with webinars. If you are trying to use webinars to grow your business, or if you've attempted and it hasn't worked, or if you would like to be, do not make this mistake. I'm gonna share with you what it is, and then how to combat it. Let's get into it. No, seriously, ready, here we go. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. Yep, let's go. All right, here we go. Hey, just 10 more tries. One. Two, three, four, five, gold rings. Oh, that's a waste. I'll take that one again. Right, one more. That's it. Two more then. One more. Alright, last one. Ah. Alright, better get going then. <laughs> So firstly, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is John Pemberthy. I'm the founder of adclients.com where we help you create, launch, and scale your business on the internet. And I'm pleased that you're here. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the topic of webinars. I have used webinars uh, as the main driving force for conversions, uh, generating leads, generating customers and clients for my business over the past few years. We have generated close to eight figures in revenue at this point, and most of that has come from the webinar model. There is one big shift that I believe has happened in the whole webinar marketing game and most people have missed it and they're still doing things the old way and it's a huge mistake and I wanna save you from that right now. And the advantage to you is the thing that has changed and the mistake that a lot of people are still making. Once you understand how you should be doing it, it's actually easier it's easier to get results with webinars and start generating leads, customers, and clients. It's easier to test your webinars and make sure that they're converting, and it's easier to scale. So all that being said, what is the big mistake? The big mistake is doing your, well, that board was way closer than I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I thought I was going to slap it. Oh, slap the TV too, can you see the TV? Ah, well, what good, ah. <laughs> <laughs> The mistake is doing your webinars live to begin. And there's a reason why I put that line down the middle. We'll get to that in just a moment. This is something that, uh, you know, go back three, four, five, six years, doing live webinars was a really, really good idea. It was new, it was fresh. The whole model of inviting people to come out on a webinar was still quite exciting. Registration rates were high, attendance rate was high. Um, it's just not anymore. Things have declined. I know there's people in the industry that, that you know, preach doing a live webinar, you know, every week or every day. You know, in fact, this came up from one of the guys on our subscriber list. Was it what was it, Lucas? You know, one of our subscribers left a comment saying, "Shall I do a webinar live once a day? You know, until I can practice." They, I hear this all the time, and the answer is no. And the reason it's no is for this reason. Okay, firstly, you're gonna get low reg rate. Reg rate is your registration rate. Now, more than ever, people are uh, distracted online, social media is so busy, there's so much going on. The idea of registering for a webinar that is five days in the future, for example, at a specific day, specific time, people are unwilling now to block out that time. Even if they do register, you're gonna hear in a minute that attendance rate is, is down. But registration rate, I'm seeing it, you know, going down and down and down with live webinars. Um, also, attention, uh, attendance rate is really low as well. Because if, and, and this is for actually for a few reasons, but if you are giving someone a specific date and time that this live webinar is happening, they've got to show up at that, at that time to, to get that information, people are gonna forget. They're busy, they double book themselves. This has been something that has always been the case, which is why you've never got a 100% attendance rate. But now on top of that, you've got people registering for a gazillion webinars in any given month. They are you know, more busy than they've, than they've ever been and the webinar model is not as exciting as it was before. So attendance rates are, are down. They register, it's, it's, a, it's an impulsive decision. And then, you know, and then they backtrack, okay? The other reason why it's a bad idea is you've actually got high risk. 
because for most of you, you don't have an audience that you can just go out to with a live webinar that you know you're gonna get 100 or 200 people to come on. You're gonna to have to promote via paid advertising perhaps. So what you're gonna do is, let's say you set up a live webinar that's a brand new presentation, you're not sure if it's proven yet. Now you're doing a five or six day run up to the webinar where you're doing social media posts, you're running paid ads, you're, you're generating traffic. You don't know yet whether that webinar is gonna convert. To decide if it's gonna convert, you've gotta get a good enough amount of people on that presentation to see if it's actually working. And so, and if you don't get enough people, then your, your energy level is not gonna be there because you're doing a presentation for, for six people. And one of them is your mom and the other is your spouse, right? So that, that's not going to give you the energy that you needed to, to, to deliver that presentation right. So you've gotta plow a ton of money into paid ads just to see if that one webinar, that one week, actually converts or not. If it doesn't, you're out a week worth of ad spend. And finally, you can't scale. Or, I shouldn't say can't, it's far more difficult to scale for that same reason. Every test now takes a week. You do another live webinar, you've got to wait a week to see if that one even works, you've got to make some tweaks, now you've got to do another one next week. Before you know it, you're only four webinars in and a month of your life that you're never getting back is just gone. And then you've only got 12 of those before you've hit a year. The, it, things will go very, very quickly. And so it's difficult to scale because you're working with weekly numbers as opposed to perhaps daily numbers. So what is the answer? Well, the answer is automated. The answer is automating your webinar from the very beginning. And this is something that we're teaching our clients, it's something that our clients do, and they get phenomenal results with it. You know, we had, you know, one of my clients just recently went against my advice, I said, look, let's automate from the very beginning. And they said, oh, I just, I want to do a live one, I want to get the feel for it, this, that, and the other. Anyway, they let me know how it went, and they didn't get very many people on, they had a 10% attendance rate. 10%! For a live webinar, 10 that means 100 people register and only 10 show up. That is so deflating. 90% of your marketing effort was wasted because only 10% actually showed up. These two things are in reverse with an automated webinar. You actually get a, a high reg rate and you have a high attendance rate because people are able now, because it's automated, it's pre-recorded, they can choose the time, the date that works best for them. So you're actually gonna get a higher percentage of people that register because they can pick a time that actually works around their busy calendar. And as a direct result of that, you have a higher attendance rate as well. So your numbers just literally overnight go up. So all things considered, even if you could argue your case that an automated webinar converts lower than a live. I would agree with you. In fact, I would more than agree with you. I'd say that that is actually the case. If you can do a live webinar and you are able to get enough people on, you will convert higher because you're able to interact with every attendee personally, or not everyone, but at least some of them. With an automated, that you lose a bit of that. So attendance rate goes down. But what I have seen with my company and my um, results and my data is although you see a slight drop in conversion rate, meaning the sale on the webinar, the registration rate and the attendance rate goes so much higher that it balances it out and wins, yeah? So automated is much better for just getting more people actually on your webinar. It's also lower risk. And it's lower risk because once you've automated it, you can now be running paid traffic and making decisions daily as opposed to weekly. With that live webinar, you've got to wait for a week to see if it even worked. With, uh, with an automated one, you can send a little bit of traffic on day one and see how, how things are performing. And you can see if it's actually working or not. And by day two or day three, perhaps you've already sent enough traffic that you know you should have really got at least one sale. Whereas if you're doing a live webinar, you don't want to build up to, to a live webinar and only expect one sale. You want to get enough people on that you're going to make a, a bunch of sales. Whereas with automated, you don't have to have that level of pressure. So you can just do it you know, every day and, and assess those numbers. And that also means that you can scale. Or at least you can scale so much easier and so much quicker because you're looking at your daily numbers. Now we can find the things that are working, find the things that aren't, and continue to scale. 
let's say we find out on day one that the whole webinar is just absolutely crushing it. Ton of sales came in, well great, let's start scaling those ads. We could scale quicker with an automated in a, in a week that we might be able to do in a whole month with live webinars. And our risk is lower in doing so. So those are the big differences between you know, live and automated. And there's one, one caveat to this, which is that if you are going to do a live or if there's one instance where that would make sense, it's if you have a warm audience. You will still see me doing live webinars, but I'm only doing it to my warmer crowd. People that are on my email list, people that follow me on social media, people that I know I can go out to and they're already indoctrinated into my world, into my brand, what we've got going on, and they're excited to come out. It's cold traffic. People that have never heard of you before, don't know you from Adam, just seeing an ad and then leading them to a live webinar, they're less inclined to register. And if they do, they're less inclined to show up. Whereas with a warm audience, they will still give you a high reg rate and they will still attend. So this is the only time I would do a live webinar to a warm audience. If I'm going out to cold traffic and running ads, it's automated all day long. So listen, I hope that was helpful for you. If it was, do me a favor, leave me a comment on this video. Let me know if you're currently using webinars and if you're already doing automated. I'd love to get some feedback from you in the comment box. Leave me a like on this video. And if you'd like to learn more about my webinar model, how I put my presentations together, how I build my webinar funnel, in fact, how I have generated multiple seven figures in revenue from the webinar model. I'd love to teach it to you. I've got a, a very, very inexpensive training called the Webinar Master Plan, and that will break that whole thing down for you. I'll leave a link to that page in the description box in the top comments. You can go ahead and check that out. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. We're putting out a couple of new videos like this every single week, and I hope you find a ton of value in watching them. All right, that's it for this video. Hope you found it helpful, and I'll see you in a future one.